Many investors down and out this year. Uh, the big sell-off on the final day of trading. But our next guest sees a silver lining, and that's a good buying opportunity because things got 20% cheaper in general this year. Joining us now is Kingsview Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer Scott Martin. I haven't seen him in a while, Scott. I don't think I've seen you ever, Lauren, so thank what? you. Uh, oh, might oh, be yeah, the first person. time solo. Um, You're right. But I'm, and I'm the king of silver linings, so let, <laughs> put, let's put that disclaimer ahead. But Go to ahead. your point, uh -huh. the silver lining is that much brighter because of the downdraft that you've been talking about all show. Are stocks cheap enough, or are we going to wait a couple months, get to the second quarter, maybe the third quarter of 2023, and then buy? Or Great question. Right uh, you know, she, uh, cheap is in the eye of the beholder almost, isn't <laughs> it, right? I mean, it's like, how long is your time rising? If you're looking out two, three years, yes, yeah, stocks are cheap enough. If you're looking out a year, you could probably wait a little longer. But let's take a lesson, uh, Lauren, as you've been talking about uh, a lot this hour, uh, of previous history. And that might be redundant, but let's just still go with it. Meaning that, like, history tells us that markets do get overly cheap. They, they, they extend too high and they extend too low. And so this one probably is cheap and likely to get cheaper but just buy on the way down because I'm telling you, in one, two, three, four years, even if the economy doesn't recover as fast as we all think it will, let's, let's mm -hmm. say in the next six to 12 months, it will preempt and pre-run the Fed weakening, meaning the Fed lowering interest rates and the economy getting better. You, I'm quoting you, you're buying garbage today and you cite uh -huh. Tesla and Southwest. Yes, uh, two stocks, <laughs> uh, to say it nicely, uh, because there's probably children watching, uh, have been in the garbage. And, and similar to, and, and just let's put it in the garbage, still similar to what, where the stock is, is today. I mean, a lot of those stocks are still suffering through, you know, Southwest coming out of this crisis that they had over the weekend. Of course, Tesla with the Twitter issues. Um, it, it's just like anything, Lauren, when, when things get overextended to the downside, emotions uh, go out the window. A lot of folks, weak hands sell these stocks and dump them for other things. That's when I want to get in. When, when everybody's out and done selling yep. and exhausted, I want to come in and buy. All right. Well, Tesla is at, oh, shoot, I don't have the number in front of me right now. Anyway, I'm stealing this from Jim Bianco. I didn't get to it in his segment, and I'd like to get it up with you. If we can pull up the chart, it's Philly Fed data, and it shows that right now, 43.5% of people expect a recession in the next four quarters. That's like the highest ever. Awesome. Uh, I love yeah, it. exactly. Is it what, when everyone else is going in one way, should you move in the other direction? 100%. I mean, look, look at the chart like you just put up, and Tesla is like about 121 bucks these days. Thank you know, you. 400 a few a few months ago. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, and if this if this recession happens, if this market downturn happens, um, if this inflation still continues to go crazy happens, it's the most telegraphed future in the history of the United States and the world. I mean, everybody saw this coming. It doesn't happen like that, to your point, about that recessionary data. So my guess is uh, people miss the turnaround. Um, they miss the recovery and start chasing it. And that's when you want to start getting out. But there is a whole lot of fun to have on that period of time when that's starting to occur. Can you say stock prices really quick? Like if I said Microsoft, would you be able to give me the exact number, the exact quote? I could guess. <laughs> okay. 50. <laughs> That's what I wanted at, though. You know, it's a good point. A lot of these 50, stock prices, though, 50. Lauren, get to levels. I know. That's where I wanted Dead to buy a long time ago. 310. Oh, there you go. See, let's take the middle, though. See, there are areas, though, that stock prices will get to which will look crazy. And that's when you have to really just hold your nose and buy. When you have to go, it's just like betting on, say, like NFL games. When you have to bet on the team that looks the worst, like my Minnesota Vikings, those are the ones that work out because those are the ones that nobody wants. Those are the easy pickings, I'm telling you. All right. Scott, I, I should say have a terrible new year, and then maybe you'll have a good hey, one. Hey, that means it'll be great. <laughs> Happy New Year then. Sad New Year. See you. <laughs> Sad New Year. Thank you. So he had a